The time has come. Execute Order 666. How did all of this trouble begin? Living in America. <laughs> Nothing wrong. Nothing wrong at all. You're not in any difficulty, but you're out on bond. No, I'm not. Have I'm all the charges been dropped? Yeah, I'm out on love. Well, are you out on love or out of love? Which yeah, is it? Out on love. On the verge of greatness, we were this close. Alone from night to night, you find me. How can you do this? This is outrageous. It's unfair. How can you be on the council and not be a master? Every black person on the planet who has been exposed to white supremacy and the assumption is every black person on the planet, planet has been, even when they haven't been in contact with white people directly. They've been exposed to the white culture indirectly. White culture is about white supremacy. Now, what does white supremacy do? It teaches people of color that if you are a male, you cannot be a man, period. Not in the system of white supremacy. And you're not going to be treated like a man, ever. Now, you can walk around and think that you're a man, but that's between you and you. Strictly between you and yourself. Because no white person has an obligation, if you're a black male, to treat you like you are a man. And it's logical, simply because, in the system of white supremacy, it's impossible for a black male to be a man. It doesn't make any difference how old he gets or what he knows or who, what kind of connections. That can't be done. Uh, my, I, I just start with myself. I'm not eligible, not qualified to be a man. Why? Because I was born in captivity. That's why. When you're in captivity, when you are a prisoner of war, you are strictly that and nothing else. A prisoner of war. Now, James, this isn't the first time you and your wife have had a problem. Are the two of you going to be able to work this out? Let's talk about some music. You oh. want to talk about music, and you don't want to talk about what happened. No, it's all over. She thought I was grinning and saying like Invader Zoom. No hand in my tenant. This ain't no double life, bitch. It's really the way that I live. Talk down on nothing, you might lose a limb. I be stepping on bitches like I'm wearing tips. She got a fan page of me, she a stand. Make up the hair, I slipped out so clean. I do what I want, because I know who I am. That bitch a carbon copy, she a skin. You fuck with that bitch. Well a victim of white supremacy, and you don't have another title. You can give yourselves all kinds of titles, which is why black people love titles. We give ourselves all kinds of titles. We give each other all kinds of titles. Some titles, it's not as bad as it was in the old days. I say bad, if you want to use that word. But some people used to say uh, professor, reverend, uh, most high. I mean, before you ever get to a name, you would have about 40 titles, you know, when somebody introduces you if you're supposed to be what you call a big shot Negro in the old days. This is not new. This goes way back. That struggle. Oh, I'd just love to be a man. I mean, what can it take? But by this generation, what you call the new millennia, most young black people have looked around. They have looked at the people that came before them who... In the ninth, since the 1960s, the white supremacists have done a terrible, a rough job on black malehood. First of all, giving them an option that you can continue to be a big boy, or if you really want to get some material benefits, put on some gold slippers and skip around, I mean, and grin all the time and all like that, and have a little money in your pocket. Now you can be a black girl. If you're a black male, you can be a black girl, but you cannot be a man. You will never be a man in the system of white supremacy. Dr. John, I'm, I'm, I'm concerned because there's nothing wrong. And what are you going to say to your fans when they ask you some questions about it? I'm going to say, I feel good. Papa's got a brand new bag. It's a man's world. Well, that's the second time we've heard that in two days. That's very interesting. Now, don't leave us, James. You stay right there. I'm we have more that we have something. to talk about. I cannot expect anything but love from anyone but me. Yeah, I cannot respect any nigga trying to take the shit from me. You're saying, you know
you're not going to be a man. You're a black male, and you think you're going to be a man on my watch? On my watch? This is the voice of the white supremacist now, racist man and racist woman. See, that's not going to happen. See, now Martin Luther King and Malcolm X and Elijah Muhammad and all of that, they said that that's what they're going to make you out of, but it's not going to happen. Now, you can talk it, but you make any move to make that real, and I'm going. you're going to wonder what fell on you. Now, they have made that clear to all of us. You have already, James, I have to ask you one serious question here. I understand you already have started divorce proceedings. Does that mean that you're now eligible? Oh, uh, no. I'm, yes, I'm eligible. I'm saying I, I want to mingle. You want to mingle? Yeah. Now, the women love you when you get out there. Why do you think that is? What did you say? The women love you when you get out there. Why is that, ladies? Well, I'm asking you. Huh? Because I do look you think good. That is? You I look smell good. good. I yes. feel good. And you sing good. And make love good. I don't know what to tell you, nigga. Yeah. I don't know how to make you feel a type of way. I feel I try to make you bigger, nice and ways. Your understanding makes you more. You understand my language more. And the young black people have picked up that signal. And they say, well, if I can't be a man and I don't want to be like my sisters, I don't want to switch around all day looking for a male and, and I, I pretend to be a female or try to switch over and be one if they can operate on me and make me one because then things become easier. I mean, uh, I guess, I hope, you know, but I definitely can't be a man because I'm in big trouble if I try to be then. Uh, what can I be? Well, the white supremacist said, well, I'll give you another outside option. You can go around and pretend that you're a man by doing harm to other black people. That's cursing out black females, calling them names and all like that. Write songs about them where you call them all kinds of names and kick them all up and down the street. We don't care about that. Kick your mother up and down the street. I mean, we rejoice when we see you do that. Okay. But if you start acting anything like you ask for respect from us, the white supremacists, boy, you're going to get dead real quick. This hoe want my last name, but I'm finna pass this free. Yo, she trying to get in my mind, I like the door and pass the key. Yeah, I tell that hoe one time, to shit ain't fine and know like me. Yeah, yeah, my bitch too bad, I might make her my accessory. My mama said I write like too much black, I might need me an exorcist. Most black males, we know that, because they teach us that in no uncertain terms. When we really start asserting ourselves and say, you gonna respect me as a man. And the white supremacist said, you tell that to other black people. But don't you get in my face ever, boy. And act like you're even thinking like that, dealing with me. Now, I'll play with you for a little while. I'll laugh and joke with you. But if you get serious and think that you're going to be a man, and when I'm here, because there ain't but one man in this house, and when I say house, I mean the entire planet Earth. Anytime you think with your black self, you're going to be a man in my presence. you got another thing coming. Now, like I said, I'll play with you. I'll kid around with you. I'll joke with you. I'll play some ball games with you and all like that. Don't you ever think that you're a man. You're a boy. Or you can act like your sisters and be a girl. And you ain't got no other choices with me. But you've got all kind of choices with your own people even though your own people are really not your own people, they are mine too. But you can kill them. You can show, tell them, ain't nobody going to disrespect you. Well, you tell that to other black people, boy. But don't you ever even think it in my presence. You don't even have to say it. Don't you even act like you might be thinking that. Or you're going to find out what hell is. And you know what? The white supremacists have proven that they can deliver on that message every time, and I don't care who you are if you're black on this planet. When you really put them to an acid test, they have so far proven that nobody will take them on because nobody knows how to, including Neely Fuller. I'm just trying to find out. 
I'm in their prison, too. I was born in their prison, too. So to get to the crux of what we're talking about here uh-huh. for black males, we're talking about manhood. And it's not going to happen, folks. As long as you have the system of white supremacy in place and not having a system of justice. This is why, rather than run around killing each other, that's not going to help. Well, there we are. We don't have to ask anybody else. We got that from the source. <laughs> there, there you are.